Today I'm going to show you how to set up the uh, ground layer on a kind of a parallax mapping on RPG Maker Unite. And I'm going to be doing a lot of these uh, tutorials as I figure out how to do stuff so I can try to help you out. Uh, so make sure you subscribe and hit the uh, notification bell. Okay, so uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to tell you that if you want to see what your game is actually going to look like in the resolution that you build to, um, you need to have the, if you go to window, RPG Maker mode, make sure it's an RPG Maker plus Unity editor. And then this game tab is going to be down in here. You're going to want to move it back up to here. And the reason why you're going to want to do that is because when you hit play, um, you're going to want to hit play maximize and actually see it over the full screen. So you're going to see how it's actually going to look. All right. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to set up a brand new map. Uh, so we're going to go down here under map list. We're going to hit new map. And we're going to, we're going to make this much larger. I think if I'm thinking right. We'll make it a hundred by a hundred. We're then going to go to background. Load image. And then we're going to go into, I've got a, basically a background. It's going to look pretty bad because I don't care. I just kind of threw it together real quick. Uh, and we're going to hit that. And it's going to give us a warning. So far, I haven't seen any bad things happen when those warnings come up. We're just going to let it go. Let it go, let it go. Ooh, so this is, um, let's go back to this map. Let's name it first of all. Map. It's up here. Uh, let's call it cool map. Yo, okay. Oh shoot! Right. I didn't get that at a hundred. All right, we got that big enough where we want it. And next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna go into the uh, collision placement, and we're gonna do one. And we're just going to let the character walk on kind of where the pavement is. I'm going to use this. This will make it a little bit quicker. Use a square tool. And we're not going to be exact because when I made this map, I didn't make it exact. Um, what I would do in the future on this is I would go back and when I was in Photoshop or GIMP, I would try to manipulate this and then put these in. I believe they're 96 by 96 um, as far as the uh, as far as the uh, uh, squares or whatever. And so I would try to line that up just a little bit better. Editing program. I just said, don't. Yeah, there we go. This is not going to be able to be exact. Decent at least. <coughs> Stupid weather. I just want it to get nice out every single day. Okay, that's going to be good enough. I don't really care that much. Um, but then the next thing we need to do uh, is we want to be able to see the character on this. So we're going to go up here. We're going to go characters, default party. We're going to go cool map yo. And then what we're going to want to do is let's, let's see, can I do it that way? So 23, 26, let's see if that works right here. Um, let's see, let's save. It play I gotta get rid of that music okay once again I've got a little work to do to make this look a little bit better but kind of gives you the gist of what's going on here to push that she can't go up in this area
And yeah, I mean, we got, let's, let's just, I'm just going to double check to make sure that the path is actually getting everywhere it needs to go. Yeah, I think uh, for what I was trying to do there, that works out pretty well. Um, and uh, just so you know, uh, I created uh, the terrain, the background, using a different Unity project. And I used the uh, Unity Terrain Toolbox uh, with HGRP uh, and then just created a terrain. And I rendered it out with using the Re Unity Recorder 8000 by 8000. Uh, not bad, not bad. I mean, it definitely could do better on this part of it, but I like it. Um, all right, so that's all I got for this one. I would be back for more uh, tutorials. I think I might do a live stream tonight and just kind of work on some stuff. Um, I do have to, uh, if I'm going to do the Daz stuff and show you all the stuff, I just got to do a little cleanup because I do have a lot of assets and some of them aren't YouTube friendly. So, but anyways, that's what I've got for today. Uh, make sure you uh, hit like on this video if this helped you at all. That would be awesome, and I will see you guys later.